I believe it's customary to sign the trail log here. So that's what I'm going to do. Hey everybody, Justin here and uh, well, I'm on the Tecumseh Trail. <coughs> doing a three day, ooh, doing a three day shakedown hike for some new gear I got for an upcoming hike. Uh, got a new backpack. It is an Osprey AG65. And uh, I'm using a tent this time around. Now, I'm using a tent because the hike I'm going on, I don't know if there's a lot of good hammocking sites. So rather than worry about that, I'm just going to take a tent. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try that out here. Uh, what hike am I doing? Well, I'm glad you asked that. I'm going to be going to Scotland and I will be hiking 96 miles on the West Highland Way there. That'll be May 26th. Ooh, lots of stuff down here. That'll be May 26th. Uh, be on the show for about seven days. It's the longest hike I've done consecutively. But uh, I'm looking forward to it and I'm pretty excited. Um, I'll tell you more about it later. I'm kind of walking now, so I don't want to talk too much about it, but I don't know, man. We'll see how it goes. Uh, weather is kind of depressing. It's gray, it's cold, it's only like 40 degrees right now. And I think it's only supposed to get up to about 45, so. I don't know, man, when you do this, you gotta take the good days or the bad. Sometimes you get the bad days. It's not that bad, but. I wouldn't mind it being a little warmer. Anyway, I'm gonna get hiking a little bit and probably gonna stop at the rock shelter, have me a lunch. Today's gonna be a short day. I'm only doing like seven and a half miles. So yeah, that's it. We'll see you when we get the rock shelter or if something cool happens or if I see a Bigfoot. Well, I'm almost to the rock shelter and man, this first leg of the trip, it's been kind of depressing. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, it's just, it's chilly and there was, I don't know if it's logging activity, but there's just trees and stuff knocked over and places where trucks are driven through, it's just really gnarly looking and I don't know, it's just not that enjoyable, but since I passed that, got more on the rock shelter section of the trail. It's been fairly nice. Been walking like kind of a gravelly road. But now we're in the hollow. Rock shelter's just up there. It'll be nice because I'm kind of hungry. Well, here we are at ye old rock shelter. It's a pretty cool spot, man. Still icicles. I didn't think it was that cold, but I guess it's still cold back in these hollers. I'm going to go rest up, get something to eat. Hungry. Here's my lunch. Good wholesome meal of spam singles. And I got some trail mix. I love trail mix. I put some uh, yogurt covered cranberries in there with it. Gives it kind of a good flavor and a little bit more sugar. I assume that gives me energy. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a nutritionist. It's pretty cool, man. I always like coming here. Usually I'm here by myself though, so I got nobody to talk to. That's what you're here for. It's like we got some petroglyphs here. Yay, Frodo!
Burp. That's my frog impression. Well, here we are. Made it to the backcountry trailhead. Only took about three, maybe a little over three hours. There's Low Gap Road. I think that's what it's called. I'm only about a mile and a half to camp, maybe two miles. And it's still early, so I don't know. It's looking like it might rain. They said it might rain. I keep feeling like a little droplet, so I don't know. I'm just going to keep going. Crossing the road. Don't get run over. There's another pretty cool bridge crossing a nicely running stream. Water. Here I am, made it to camp. Uh, camped at this campsite before about five years ago, actually, to the day. Um, I did the low gap trail. There's a video for it. Was here with my hammock and this time I am here with my new tent. And as you can see, it's not a very big tent, but it's light and that's what I'm wanting. Tarp Tent Pro Trail for all those who are wondering. Uh, I've slept in it before just in the backyard and it's pretty waterproof. I mean, it's pretty solid. I had a seam seal up myself. You can see I didn't do a great job of it. Well, one thing I like about this tent is it doesn't use poles. See, that's my hiking pole I use. One in the front and one in the back. It's a really pretty spot. Some pines back there, some pines right there. If it wasn't so gray, dull, it'd be nice. But what are you going to do? I've had a couple people ask me what I do for water when I'm out in the woods, so I'll show you real quick. This is my water filter. This particular one is a gravity water filter from MSR. So what I do is I go to the creek, fill this bad boy up just like this, and when I'm ready, I tie it to the tree, and gravity will pull the water down through my filter, now this is a paper filter, then the clean water comes out and ends up in my water. I could just leave that be and gravity will take care of it. There's no pumping and I don't have to sit around a creek, filter my own water, I just let gravity do it. So now I can go do other stuff while that's doing that, like cook my meal or just lay down and chill. Good morning, everybody. It is a cold day two, and I just woke up. It's like 10 o'clock. I slept way too long. Um, fell asleep yesterday about 8 o'clock. I know I just laid down and I crashed out, so today's going to be Russian. I got, I have to cover 13 miles. Eh, I guess it won't be Russian too bad. But anyway, yeah, 13 miles of the day. Uh, I'm gonna stop at the Fox Den shelter for a break and then on to, I can't remember the name of it. <clears throat> Campground in Yellowwood. I'll tell you later. I'm gonna get me something to eat and some coffee and I'm gonna hit the road. See you in a bit. I should say one thing I learned about sleeping in a tent that I must have forgotten is make sure you ventilate your tent real well because I don't know if you can see it there's condensation all over the inside well I thought I'd share this moment with you about five years ago when I hiked this trail I came to this spot 
and I looked down this way and I thought one day I'll hike it and today is that day and I'm hiking it I'm gonna take a little break somebody put these someone put these seats here which are kind of nice I'm gonna stop and take a little break and enjoy my sentiment <sighs> so happy Goodbye, Morgan Monroe. Hello, Yellowwood State Forest. Well, here I am, Bear Lake. Pretty nice. There's the dam. I don't think I'm supposed to walk across that. Sun still hasn't come out. It looks like it's trying to, but they said it was, so I'm gonna hopefully count on that. My morale's a little bit better than it was yesterday anyway. So that's good. Well, there's the spillway. And here is a nice bridge crossing the water. Very nice. Yummy. So I made it to the Fox Den shelter and I'm hungry. I'm a little chilled, so I'm gonna hang out here for a while. Let my tent air out because it's still wet. I mean it's wet. Probably air my sleeping bag out too. Just hang out for about maybe 45 minutes to an hour. I made good time. It only took me about three hours to get here, so that's it, man. Uh gonna be a long day I'm still about halfway through and I met some hikers that told me that there's an alternate route that's kind of sucks said it wasn't too bad but you don't like to hear that anyway so I'm gonna eat I'm gonna rest that's me left the shelter pack of ramen noodles lighter feeling pretty refreshed I had some Gatorade mix some Gatorade stuff in my water so hopefully that makes me a little more energized reflect refresh my electrolytes uh, six more miles uh, maybe six and a half I don't know hopefully it's not too bad with the reroute them guys told me about had another group of guys roll up when I was getting ready to leave, they had just hiked the whole thing from where I started. Well, I believe this creek is significant because it is the halfway point of my trip. So, another sentiment. I just wanted to share that with you. Bye bye. Ooh, that's refreshing. <clears throat> Doing a bit of road walking up this hill. I think there's like three hills in a row. I don't know, it's kind of nice to have a smooth, flat hill climb. But looks like we're going back into the woods. Okay, so I've hit the alternate route, marked by these pink and black tags. And uh, the map says it's actually taking a little bit shorter way around. Whether or not it is actually shorter, I don't know. Because I imagine there's not a good trail to follow, so. It could be just the same amount of time, so. I'll follow it and see what happens. Okay, I just want to say <clears throat> that this route, alternate route is very well marked i mean like every other tree is marked with these pink and black tags but as you can see oh man it goes like straight up and down there's been like three of those already hope it don't last too long because it's going to wear me out <laughs> no i'm doing good i think we're going to get to camp sooner than i thought so hopefully as long as i don't break my leg back here but whoever did this alternate route marked it, good job because I'm definitely not getting lost.
alternative route. The last mile or so of that was pretty easy. But I'm walking a gravel road now, which is really nice. It's been pretty flat. I think I'm on my way down to Indian Hill. There I have stop get some water. And I have one more big hill climb to the camp. So I'm making really good time. I'm happy with it. Sun's starting to peak, trying to peak through. I can see the clouds starting to break up. No blue sky, but one more hour is definitely good right now. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Well, I'm doing one last water filter before I make my way up to the camp. Probably about maybe a mile at the most, but it's all uphill, so. There's no water up there, so I'm just... I made this rig <laughs> off my hiking poles. It seems to be working all right. There's no water up there, so this is what I gotta do. I gotta carry it all up there with me. No big deal. Been carrying it all day. Well, that was by far the hardest climb of the trip so far. Whew. Am I bothered? No. I'm a BAMF. B-A-M-F. Google it. Oh, my feet hurt so bad. Oh, why did I do this? Well, here I am. I made it to night two camp alive and well. Now I was going to stay at a designated campsite on this ridge up here after I climbed that hill. But when I got there, it looked like it had all been timber harvested. There were no campsites. There was one campsite and I didn't like it because there was a lot of dead trees around and it just didn't feel good to me. So I kept going. Now I'm down in this valley. I think I know where I am, but there's no designated campsite, so I just I just set up a spot. It's a nice spot. It's soft, and there's some water right over here. Had I known that, I wouldn't even even brought my water. But you know, you don't take chances like that. Um, this is the trail. I'm not far off from the trail. I don't care. I'm tired. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm on, I think private property is right over there. So I'm not on private property, but you know, I don't want to be too far away from the trail just in case. Uh, yeah, timber harvest up there, man. I couldn't get, there were no sites. There was nothing. I didn't want to do it, but I had to. Anyway, I'm going to make me some dinner. I got fettuccine Alfredo. Oh, that sounds so good right now. Good times. Good walking, good times. Okay, I'm gonna eat. Talk to you later. Mmm, that's good eats. The reason why I'm hiking the Tecumseh is a shakedown hike for the summer when I hike the West Highland Way in Scotland. That's about 100 miles. Yeah, 96 miles, but um, you know, it's a place I've never done before. I'm using a tent and you know, just new stuff. Want to make sure it works right, make sure it feels good. So, I'm doing this hike for charity, and what I mean by that is the trip's all paid for and everything, but um, I'm trying to raise money for uh, the United Way of Bartholomew County and the Hoosier Hiker Council, which helps maintain this trail all the bridges you see and stuff they help maintain all that all the signs all the bridges they do that so being a hiker you know naturally I included them I'll put a link for the GoFundMe account in the description box but um just check it out you know you don't have to donate but if you want to that'd be great um, also look for it on Facebook I got a page set up on Facebook it's called hike the way for the United Way. I thought of that myself. 
So yeah, that's what I'm doing this summer, and I'll be bringing you along. Why wouldn't I? I bring you along every other trip. So yeah, check it out. If you donate, great. If not, what? What does it take? What does it take? It's for the trails, man. So I've started eating, and I want to say that this is one of the better meals I've had. It's not as good as pack of gourmet, but look at that. Sun-dried tomatoes and cheese, fennuccini. I didn't see Alfredo in there. He's in there, though, somewhere. I just wanted to tell you that. Pro tip. Are you feeling cold out in the woods all by yourself? The chills got you in your jacket. Your new $150 jacket just isn't cutting it for you. Happens a lot, I guess. But how do you fix that? Bam! Bring a flask of scotch with you. It'll keep you warm and you won't even think about the boogeyman at night. And if the boogeyman does come, don't worry about it, you're drunk. You can use it as a weapon. Comes in its own can. That really kind of hurt. Sun's going down, so I'm going to bed. Been a fun day. Not as bad as I thought it'd be. <laughs> it never is though, right? So, I'll see you guys in the morning, and uh, we'll hike out of here. Good night. Good morning. It is a cold morning. Even though it's a cold morning, I'm feeling re-energized because I woke up and saw this. That is the sun coming out and lighting up the woods. That's the first time in two days I've seen that. So Right now I've just made my coffee and my oatmeal and I'm gonna eat that and I'm gonna pack up and I'm gonna hit the trail so I can get home so I want to have some good food and a beer and I just want to say that even though I did keep the vents open in my tent I still got some condensation like quite a bit of it I don't know what I'm gonna do about that maybe it's just the fact that it's cold and I'm sweating I'm gonna have to look into it more Oh look, even my coffee's happy. I think. <laughs> he could just be like crying or I don't know. He's happy. He's happy. Well, there's camp all cleaned up leaving no trace that's how we do it did I mention I was trying to raise money for them So I've been seeing these W's on all these cuts on these logs across the trail. I don't know who W is, but whoever you are, big fan of your work, W. Big fan. Um, I am taking a break, a little lunch break. I think I need some fuel after that last section to get me going down the trail a little bit. Uh, the last section was pretty tough, man. It was, uh, it wasn't like, a lot of hills there was a couple of them but they were steep I'm gonna snack up on my spam and my trail mix 
and I got this nice little view. I believe this is Prang Pond. But it's a nice little place to stop and have a snack. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm walking along, walking along, and I finally come to that last hill. Oh, that's the last hill I have to climb. Big one anyway. Not looking forward to it. I'm sure it doesn't look that big, and I'm sure it's not really that big, but it looks big and steep from here. <sighs> I'm gonna need a drink. Bet you thought I was joking, didn't you? All right, guys. I just want to throw out a little word of warning. That last three miles from that hill, man, that has been the most boring, mind-numbing section. There were no real ups and downs, little tiny bits, but it was just pretty much circling around ravines and stuff. I must have circled around 10 of them. At least, man, it was boring. I don't know, maybe I'm just getting tired. Maybe it's that scotch talking, but I'm uh, getting ready to head down. I think the Yellowwood Lake, I hope. Um, I don't know, I'm, I may just keep pushing forward until I get to the end. I don't know if I'm gonna take a break or not. I'll let you know. So I'm on the last leg of this thing. And these pine forests are amazing, man. Really pretty. The trail's real nice. Soft. It's just beautiful through here. I wanted to share it. don't know what that noise was. Well guys, that's it. I made it to Yellowwood Lake Dam. Well, what began as a dreary, wet, cold hike, it's kind of depressing, has ended on a sunny, slightly warmer high note. I mean, it's warmed up quite a bit actually. Um, I just gotta walk down that ways a little bit to meet my ride. My ride will be there to pick me up, so I'm gonna take a long break, cool off, try to get this stink off me. It's a good trip. I did what I wanted to do. I figured out what gear I liked, what gear I don't like. A little worried about my tent because it gets so much condensation in it, but I don't know, I'll see what I could do about that. Still undecided about my pack. Um, I'll decide about that too. Am I ready to hike 96 miles? Uh, I think so. I think I could do it and I got two more months to train. I've been training since January so two more months I think I'll be able to nail it. Anyway guys, that's my trip over. Um, thanks for coming along. I really like making these videos especially when I'm by myself because it gives me something to do give other people kind of an idea of what to expect on the trail 
I know it helps me. That's what I do. I get on YouTube and I look at trails and see what other people are doing. So that's how I plan things. Anyway, thanks for coming along and I'm sure I'll see you soon.